In just 10 short months, Pandora and the Ragdoll team have been making their impression on the food scene at Young and Eglinton. Today we get a chance to chat with Pandora for our latest episode of YYE, Your Young and Eglinton. Let's head inside and say hello. Pandora, thank you very much for having us and for doing this. Well, thank you so much for thinking of us and coming by. Our pleasure. Um, let's start off by having you tell everybody about Ragdoll Eatery. So the name came from uh, two things. One is the Ragdoll uh, song from Aerosmith. There's a line in the song that says living in a movie and this has been my dream. And the other line is daddy's little cutie and my father always told me go out live your dream. So it's in memoriam of him and he gave me the strength to do that. And the metaphoric meaning is a ragdoll uh, means different things to different people. So it could be a tchotchke, it could be um, a sense of security, something you just bring around or a decoration. Um, but also if you take a rag doll, it never lays the same way twice once you place it in another area and I'd like to think that this is what we are with our menu, um, our vibe, um, you know, it's a safe place for people and it's really never the same way twice. Very cool. And speaking of your menu, could you tell us a little bit about some of the items that are on there and the inspiration for some of those things? So I'll start with the Bananarama bread, that's actually in memory of my mother. Um, so she made uh, this amazing bread, but I turned vegan. And uh, Laura Gallivan, who's an amazing chef here, which I'm blessed to have, um, she made that and it's vegan and gluten free. Wow. So it kind of adapts again to, you know, different lifestyles and different di dietary requirements. Um, and then the rest is just comfort food, but it can be healthy. So we make everything from scratch in house. So whether it's the buttermilk fried chicken or shepherd's pie or the ravioli bites, it's, um, you know, like to think healthy comfort foods, but um, we try to source as much as we can locally and it's just tastes good and without chemicals, so. Great, now um, I was looking at your menu and you have uh, you have your own beer. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so thanks to uh, Spearhead Brewery um, because I give a part uh, of every pint sold or every pitcher um, to Parkinson's in memory of my father. Uh, they were kind enough to actually uh, give us one of their brews and allow us to put our name on it. So thank you Spearhead for that. So Pandora, in our initial talks, you had also mentioned that you do other types of fundraising. Could you speak to that a little bit more as well? Yeah, so I feel fundraising is important because uh, you know I'm in the position where I'm living the dream and I feel it's really important for restaurants to give back. I mean, whether it's food or time or anything like that. So I have a very large space, so I offer it up at no charge uh, for anybody that approached me for fundraising and uh, the money uh, goes to whatever charity and also my staff does chip in and also I give a portion of uh, our profits from the evening uh, to help that. Wow, very neat. What are some of the most recent events that you've had here? So we just had one actually, it was for uh, shelter movers. They help uh, facilitate moves for abused women and children. And uh, we had a very successful uh, evening. We raised uh, just over $7,000 in one night for them. And it's, uh, I prefer to do smaller charities that you know don't have as much recognition because they don't have as much money. And uh, that helped out, I believe they told me, close to 40 uh, women and children to get out of really hard times. That's amazing, fabulous. Pandora, um, thank you again so much for having us. Uh, if you are looking for rock style kind of theme bar with great comfort, healthy comfort food? Healthy comfort healthy food, comfort absolutely. Food. Uh, come and visit Pandora and Laura and all the great staff at Ragdoll Eatery. Um, Pandora, remind people where they could find you. So we're located at 2110 Young Street. We're just south of Eglinton. It's about a three minute walk from the subway station. And yes, there is parking here. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a convenient location. You're still in the thick of things, but you're not, you know, in all the crazy. Short, short walk from the Eglinton station. Three minutes. Place. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Pandora, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hi there. If you've made it this far, I want to say thank you so much for watching this latest episode of YYE. Uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to share some unfortunate news. Uh, Pandora has had to close the doors at Ragdoll Eatery and it is no longer open for business. And I wanted to take this chance to implore you, the viewers, uh, and anybody uh, who lives in the neighborhood to get out and support local businesses, especially independently owned and run businesses like Ragdoll Eatery. And hopefully we won't have to incur any more closings of great places like Ragdoll anytime soon. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next episode of YYE.